Welcome guys to this next part of uh, videos that I'll be creating on this episode here we're gonna be going and talking about my data sources for some of the projects specifically one project I'll focus on one project but it, it, it kind of uh, will explain how I'm gonna approach it with the other projects as well on this video I'll be explaining on how I identify my data sources for my projects how I'm planning to do the data collections and I'm gonna I'm gonna take you guys through this process and hopefully in hopes that it'll have some kind of value for you guys so if you have seen or not seen uh, my workflow process this these two steps here is where I'll be focusing on in the next series of episodes of videos that I release is identifying this particular video is going to be about identifying where the resources are going to be coming from and then I'm going to go and create a series of videos talking about how I'm gathering these data sources and I'm going to show you how I'm using them I'm collecting the data processing the data and preparing it for labeling and classification so with that this is a quick couple of slides PowerPoint that I'm just going to show my current projects uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos is I have a, a, a Patriots project I'm calling it just a Patriots just to find and document and and the way I want to I want to establish that is to be able to detect not just flags but the American flag and the 50 states flag and you you guys if you guys want to participate on this when it's up and running you can help me for your country and you you know I don't know your individual states uh, and you can create your own Patriots map the other one that I have <coughs> is the operations investigations where I'm investigating uh, documented and published uh, operations and the way I'm approaching this is to be able to detect the environment whether it whether the operation happened inside a building or it happened outside and be able to detect different objects and light sources and then not only that but also parse audio and and part of the machine learning to to differentiate between the audios of a human vocal and non-human vocal but for the purpose of these series of videos I'm gonna be focusing more on the Patriots project because this is a lot uh, the scope is a lot smaller I had already started matter of fact the past month or so uh, the reason why I'm creating videos is because one uh, I was doing investigations for the operations but I was also running uh, doing video uh, uh, collections uh, part of Patriots here in the United States 4th of July and there's also other um, memorable uh, holidays uh, where it's a custom f for the people here to put flags out in their front yards or and stuff so not only that but you also have summer especially here in Texas uh, the environment changes so uh, it was just an opportunity for me to go out and and do some video and data capture uh, so I could process it later so anyways we'll be focused on the Patriots and this is where where the majority of the video is going to be focused on the concepts and the process is still holds and it, it, in my apply for any you know if you're doing whatever your project is right you can already apply it to yours so one of the things um, that you can get where I'm getting my sources are from images the machine learning process images uh, in different conditions whether they're small or you know real high resolution uh, with lots of pixels it can range from 600 to 1024 and, and I think it boils down the limitation will be boiled down to your hardware that you have available to you to process the machine learning uh, in my case, I have both a desktop and a laptop with a GTX 1050 Ti. 
and I can process maybe uh, I'm comfortable processing that a 2000 by 2000 pixel image um, and it will run for 12 hours um, with no issues uh, I do uh, you know once in a while I do get uh, resource limitations on memory so but where to get these images you can in my case you know since I'm targeting flags I'm, I'm targeting government websites sometimes they have uh, buildings or parks or some kind of infrastructure and they have the flags displayed there especially on federal buildings and also in the state level and the county level and even at the city or uh, 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 city levels uh, they will have you know the, the flags display on their I guess you give you some of that like townhome townhouse schools and stuff like that the other place you can look for that I'm looking for is search engines search engines there's several server engines that have when you do a search you can select to do a search of images uh, and look at all the images that are there um, I had tried to also look at the uh, nets of things and to me the nets of things are more like ImageNet uh, or repository or some some university or college has done a project of their own and they had uh, documented and structured their links or reference to those images and you can go in there and search you know whatever your keyword is in my case will be flags right so I'll go in there and and I'll get the link references that they have and then and then try to get the images myself the other source that I'm using is I have a scanner uh, is uh, magazines uh, I, I still go check my mail every day and, and uh, I go over there and get the slow mail, junk mail. Uh, there might be some pictures in there that that I might want to use, so I just place it on the uh, uh, on a scanner, scan it, and then it's in my desktop. And I, you know, it's waiting there for me to label it. And of course, the next thing, which which might be the biggest source uh, of of images, is video. And um, and we'll be talking about that. Uh, later on and especially in the other uh, series or episodes um, so the government websites uh, this is pretty much when I went to what well, the White House gov website it had this image of the flag of the United States flag so this would naturally be one of the images that I would go in uh, take a snippet of it and save it into the hard drive uh, so I could label it uh, as the American flag. Um, so there's a lot of reference. Again, there, the, 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 the government has a lot of websites and they all have their buildings with a picture of the American flag on there. Lots and lots of examples from my project. So the, the other approach that I'm going to use uh, especially going with search engines and the websites and getting these images and videos all you know automated <clears throat> it's pretty much web crawlers there's there's a series of applications that I use to do the web crawling for me I don't I don't go into individual links and search the links or that I don't search those websites for those images so what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna leverage other applications and I'm going to go into video details on these later on the episodes of which applications I use uh, and automate it I, I tell it you know go to this link and and go follow these links and download or copy the web pages and that will copy the images or it has videos that will download it as well um, so it'll 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 crawl the websites and find the images for me and the videos now the cons on this using this method is it that it downloads a lot of unnecessary media so you might end up having images videos audios PDF files or documents that you really don't need and you know there's gonna be a step where you have to filter that all that stuff out and but you don't have to go through all the web websites 
yourself. So the other thing is that some of these websites might have content management systems and these content management systems what they do is they create thumbnails of the original picture so you you probably see double one a smaller size you might see it maybe like 200 by 200 pixels and the actual picture is like 2000 by 2000 pictures you want the 2000 by 2000 with the uh, image instead of the 200 by 200 you want more data no, for those so that's one of the cons of using the web crawlers but it's an easy fix quick fix and I'll be talking about how I approach that all right and then the next thing is like I mentioned it before I mean I don't get all these magazines but I do get magazines my favorite magazines and stuff like that and what I do is I do have a scanner this is the actual scanner model that I have and I just pop it up and put it in there and scan it and I move on to the next page that have the materials or the or the media or the picture that I need and I'll and I'll just place it in there and scan it. Uh, the same thing I can use my camera phone but I find it that the scanner uh, it's more uh, has uh, it's better with the scanner it has more detail than the actual picture uh, from a let's say Android phone or stuff like that. So again you can you, you can use newspapers you, you can I mean even junk mail ads that come into your email uh, don't get rid of them use them scan them and use them as part of your data set keeps you from going out and venturing out far for for getting the data um, the other things of course everybody nowadays has smartphones or even you know your own personal cameras you in my case I might be running errands and um, and I've been doing this throughout the year uh, is during the start of winter during the winter time or January right um, there's no leaves in the trees and there's some some folks that are has the American flag and the Texas flag flying on the yard on the pole well I'll go by there and I take pictures of that and then spring comes along and again I, it's the same route it's a, it might be a route that I go to work and I'll take the picture then as well right when spring is coming out you, know, you have a lot of blooming there's, there's there's a lot of flowers that come out um, and then the leaves come out and then there's like now summertime uh, there, it's real bright uh, leaves are starting to winter and getting ready to to dry out uh, and then of the course fall will come out where everything turns uh, gloomy it'll be a little bit more grayer not as bright as in, in least tend to tie down so those are the environments that I'm trying to capture where the flag is flying on the same location so I can capture that right so you may want to take your phone for convenience uh, maybe I'll go out and you know to go get some lunch or something and I see the flag on who knows uh, a Chick-fil-a or McDonald's and they f tend have a tendency of flying the flag the American flag as well so I'll go out on the takeouts and I can take pictures of that of the flag there right um, school and community events um, you go into local school football sport event or or community events they might have uh, you know some kind of band playing and stuff like that sometimes they'll have the American flag with a lot of people and you just take a picture of it and that's 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 another data set there that I that I use uh, and again I already mentioned driving to and from work and office right there's, there's already there's, there's I go into the parking lots and take pictures as cars go by and have different environments they change trucks cars you know uh, go by construction crews in the area so I take pictures that way and the last place where I consider taking my data source is video streaming services now one of the biggest ones we all probably know is YouTube but there's also Facebook and there's also Twitch and there's so many out there uh, you could also use Netflix the Amazon Prime video rentals the biggest thing here is that the video is available for you you can pause the video take a snap of that video and now you have a data set right there that's how I'm gonna use it as well you can also do a, a desktop screenshot uh, of the video so while the video is playing again I, I don't care much of the audio on this part for this particular project but if I see the American flag flying by and it's an action-packed movie I might take that as as a screen pans across and maybe has the American flag and capture that as my data set 
the other option i think uh, uh you know the youtube has an api that you can also download video and process the video uh you can get that video break down the frame sets and we'll be going by we'll be talking about that in more details um you, you can you can get that you know as images label it and process it for your uh projects or at least for my project as well right so there you go that's where i'm thinking of getting my data sources for these projects and for my others if you guys have any other suggestions please follow the link that i provide um i don't go into discussions within the youtube platform um i want to have it in the blog uh and consolidate it in one spot so suggestions or any other questions or stuff follow the blog link and i will I'll reach out to you guys there thank you for watching